today with a kind of comparison and um if you haven't watched my last video it was an unboxing of my ipad mini and i did state in that video i do have the ipad 12.9 inch um the pro now i said i was gonna kind of do like a semi comparison between the two why i decided to get the mini since i already have this you know, questions that, of course, people ask. I know my husband. Oh, why? Okay, so let me let me <laughs> explain. So I purchased this iPad. It's the twelve point nine um, iPad Pro. I purchased this because, again, my vision <laughs> is not crappy, but. I just wanted something bigger. I had an iPad Pro, the 11 inch. I gave it to my daughter because her iPad um, wasn't working anymore. Something was wrong with it. It wouldn't charge and it wouldn't work. So I upgraded and gave her my iPad 11 and I wanted something bigger because I'm a planner. Um, I have a digital planner, I digital plan. And for me, this is the best for digital planning because you have your, I'll show you a little bit of something. Um, you have your planner out. You can write very efficiently on this. And it's just, I love it. Um, okay, so this one, I don't know what happened, but this is just an example of the planner. So, um, and I'll get my planners from Create Heartwork by Lucy. She makes some awesome planners. But again, like I said, I like to plan. And you see how big the screen is? And I can just write stuff. And it's just so simple. I don't have to keep doing this to write. I can just easily just write on here, you know, and then go to the next, you know, to the day and just write. It's just so easier for me to write on here. Like I said, I'm a planner. I also have like, um, when I go on trips, I make itineraries of my trips. Um, I will show you guys a little example of that. Um, for instance, I am going to Vegas soon. So I have my itinerary here. I'm just kind of covering up because I have uh, confirmations and stuff like that. But you see this little itinerary that, you know, me and my best friend made up. And, um, you know, and it's nice to be able to look at it big on here, right on here. And just just put the stuff in there, you know, easy. It's just, it makes it, it just makes more sense doing it that way, if that makes any type of sense. Like I said, I write, I like to plan. I do a lot of stuff on this. When I go on, um, like, on an airplane, it just looks so nice just to watch, you know, um, let's just see, to watch, you know, a video or a movie on this. Because it's just, oh, look at that, Annabelle, Annabelle. So let's just set this up real quick. I'm just going to play. So, so you guys can see how much, how big this is if... The thing will start. See? It's big. It's loud. I love it. Especially, like, for example, my husband likes to play video games. He likes to watch football. All of that stuff. So, if I'm in the bedroom and he's watching a game and I don't want to watch that game, you know what I do? I set my iPad up and... I watch whatever I want to watch on my iPad. I could go to the DirecTV app because we have DirecTV and I can watch whatever is on the television. If he's watching football and I don't want to watch that and we're in the room, I can just put my little iPad up and go from there. Would I do that with the iPad mini? Probably not because it's kind of small. I wouldn't really watch um, shows or nothing on here because it is kind of small. But... I love, I just love how big the screen is. If you're really not into planning, you're not into, you know, like writing a paper planner. I know a lot of people, when I was in school, I used this to take notes. And it's just, it's so easy because, again, you don't have to keep doing like this. You can just take notes. Like, for example, 
Here's my little notepad. I use this religiously. Oh my gosh, I'm telling you. I'm not going to swipe left or right because I got, you know, stuff in there. But this is just, it just makes things so much easier to where you can just simply go up here and write. You know, it's just, I love it. I love it to take notes. I'm a big note taker. I, you know, write my thoughts down. I jot just different things down and instead of buying paper and stuff like that or pens look I got my little pad here and I can just go up and change whatever color I want to I don't have to buy any pens it's all in this app this app is good notes by the way if you guys are wondering it's all in this app I don't have to do that I love iPads I do love them to read too and I will get into why I say the iPad mini so this iPad is a little heavy. So if you're a reader, like I like to read as well. If you're a reader, this will hurt your hands. I have carpal tunnels on my hands. So for me to sit here with this and to try to read, it hurts. It hurts my hands. Um, so it's very uncomfortable to try to read. Like I said, I am a reader. So, um, you know, um, I like to read different things, you know, didn't really get get into it into it yet but the reasoning behind this is I do like to read I want to get back into reading I kind of slacked off you know with COVID and everything I was reading and then I would stop and then you know just life happens other things but I think this is good for reading um and another thing this can't really fit in my purse so Say if I'm out and I have my notes, right? I have my notes written on here. Or if I have a grocery list on here, right? On good notes. Yes, I can get it on my phone. But my phone is a little bit smaller. So having to have this, I can slip this right in my purse. And if I'm at the grocery store, it does have a pen to where I can... I don't have it right now. But it does have a pen. I can easily go in here and check off the groceries as I'm going. It's so much easier to slip this in your purse, your backpack, whatever. It's so much easier for this. This is a little bit harder to put in your purse and while you're grocery shopping, having this on your arm like this, trying to check off stuff. So this, <laughs> I wouldn't recommend it for that, but I would definitely bring this grocery shopping if I have any sorts of like just for example if my itinerary is on here I can pull it up on here and look hey what we doing next all right let, let's see let's see you know what I'm saying it's something small that I can just put in my purse take out and go from there you know this is a good home thing um if you're home you you know you're in school you're taking notes perfect for that um but I will you know again I would probably put this in my purse. I would do more reading with this. Um, if I wanted to, another example, um, look up my planner. And I don't have this with me because I do not carry this around because it is so big. If I'm out and about, I'm not going to carry this. I will carry this because, like I said, it's easy to put in my purse. So if I write down my planner on here, which is in Good Notes, I can easily pull it up because it is on iCloud. Pull it up on here and look at, you know, what I need to do for the rest of the day if I'm out and about. You know what I'm saying? So it's a little bit easier to for me to have this. And as far as my business, it is, um, I do use this one more because, again, I can see everything. If I have, like, the products open, I have, like, I can edit things in bulk editor it's a little bit bigger so that I can see you know everything how my website looks and how things are placed but again if I'm out and about and I don't have that I can easily use this um it's just a convenience thing yes I do have a phone but again certain things on my phone I don't want to do or it's just so much smaller that I can't see everything so again it's a personal preference for me, it was a personal preference. I kind of fought back and forth that I wanted, and they had a decent deal to where um, you can either pay for it outright. With Verizon, I just pay thirteen dollars a month, um, as well as with the um, the plan is only like twelve dollars. So all in all, like what twenty five dollars a month to have this, which isn't bad. 
Um, you know, that that's not bad of a price. But if you want, if you're saying, hey, I don't know which one to get. Um, or if you're low on funds and you can't afford this because this was a pretty penny, okay? If you can't afford the 12.9 inch, I would probably get like the Air, the iPad Air or the regular one. I wouldn't suggest your first iPad being a mini only because it is so small and you might not get all of the, um, what am I trying to say? All of the benefits as you would this. Again, this is Touch ID. This is Face ID. So, you know, it's a, it's a, a little bit of a difference there. This is Retina. I believe they're both Retina, if I'm not mistaken. Um, Again, I am not no tech-savvy channel. So, let's see. What does this say? It doesn't say if it is or not. Um, I'll probably have to go to the website and look. But, again, this is a retina display, so the display is awesome. I love it. Um, and like I said before, I take this everywhere in my house. <laughs> I bring it. If I'm in the bed, I, I got it in the bed. If I'm downstairs, I'm playing with it downstairs. You know, um, so I do get a lot of um, work from this iPad. Like I said, again, once I was in school... And I had to write papers on the go. I took this iPad with me because, you know, it's easier to just sit up here and do this instead of bringing a whole laptop and either get your little keyboard, put it here, or you can type on the screen. And it's just, of course, if you think about it, this is 12.9 inch. I want to say my laptop is like a 13 inch. So this is almost like a laptop. Or um, 15 inches. So this, like I said, it's almost like a laptop. And it's your personal preference. I like to be able to write on the screen. I find myself trying to tap on screens <laughs> when I'm with my, my laptop. And I'm like, oh, shoot, it's not touchscreen. So I'm so used to this being touchscreen. And um, like I said, again, I do like my business things on this. As far as, like, you know, setting up products and going through my inventory and just different things like that. It just helps, especially if you don't like tucking your laptop around. I keep my laptop for like my business business. So where, you know, I'm creating designs and stuff like that. I try not to load that with personal things. I just use that for my business. And I use this for personal pleasure, business, whatever. And like I said, I just got this. So I'm still going to play around with it. <clears throat> Excuse me. I do love the size of it. Like I said, I want to get back into fully reading. So this is like a Kindle for me. It's like buying a Kindle, but I can do other stuff instead of just reading. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> but um, uh, as far as like the comparisons, again, I said before, I noticed the big difference is this is Touch ID. And it's, let me see. See how you can lift that up like that? Touch ID or enter password. So, yeah, it's definitely... Um, I wonder why they did that. I wonder why they input face ID on this, <clears throat> but they put touch ID. I wonder why they did that. Hmm. That's a good question for Apple. Why did y'all put touch ID on the iPad mini instead of making it face ID? That is very... A good question. So let's pull up the books on here. Hold on. Let's see. So let's go to. It's trying to load my books up here, guys. So bear with me for a second. I'm trying to open a book so you can guys can see. Let's go to the daily wisdom. Today is the second, so here we go. That looks so much better. Oh, my goodness. Like, and it's small, but it's not too small. If I go up here, I can make the font, well, not the font, yeah. I can make it a little bit bigger. So there we go. That's perfect. It's perfect for reading. Like, it's just, and it's so light that I can hold it like this and read. And it doesn't hurt my hands. So I love that. I love that about this. 
it's so much easier to read and just to pull things up and look at it from here. Yes, I love I love that. Like I said, I haven't gotten to everything on here, but I do know that I will be using this primarily for reading and keeping this in my purse when I can't have the big iPad right there. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But again, to each his own, it's a personal preference. Some may say, oh, that's a waste of money. You already got the big one. Why'd you buy the little one? Okay, again, it's personal preference. If you don't want to buy it, you don't have to. Don't worry about what I'm doing over here. But again, this is just a little comparison of, you know, why I got it and um, what I plan to do with it. I'm still keeping my 12.9 because, baby, this, I love it. I will still, when I'm going to the airport and I'm on that plane, I'm still going to set this thing up, okay? And I'm going to leave the little one at home because when I'm on the airplane, all I'm using it for is to watch movies, okay? So I don't want to watch nothing on this little thing. Let me see. Let's see how, I didn't even go into the movie. Let's see. Let's go to Apple TV. And let's, not now. Let's pull up y'all, y'all, y'all. If I'm just, see, they just, Hulu, I was watching Sleepy Hollow on Hulu. Let me tell you something. My grandma put me onto this show, y'all. It was so good. I went home this past weekend and my, you know, I went to my grandma's house and she was like, you want to watch this? Have you seen this before? And I was like, no, nah, let's watch it. When I tell y'all, I was enticed by the first episode. I was, it, they drew me in and it was just so good. I'm kind of sad that they only have four seasons and they stopped. I felt like it was a really, really good show. It was like, it kept me entertained from when it started to when the show went off to the next episode. Like, it was really, really good. I really like that. But anyways, let's just go to Harlem Nights. This is my, that's, oh, wait a minute. Open in, I got, see, okay. I was watching Harlem Nights on, um, HBO Max the other day. So let me go into the movies that I have. My library. Here we go. Baps. That's one of my favorite. No, you know what? I'm going to play my favorite all-time movie. If you don't know what it is, now you do. White Chicks, baby. I love... This is my favorite movie. So let's see how it looks. I don't even know how to set this thing up. Let's see. If it will play it. Um, if the Wi-Fi ain't working, I need the um the cellular activation Verizon. I need y'all to kick on if my there we go. FBI, you're That's my favorite. Wait, I gotta get to my favorite scene, y'all. Yeah, I can't watch it on this. <laughs> I instantly said I cannot watch it on here. Look how small that is. I mean, if you ain't got no choice, yeah, but I need, I need the big screen for this. Yeah. Mm. All right, let's, let, let me show y'all white chicks on the big one. All right, all right. Yeah, I definitely can't. If I'm definitely on the airplane, if this one is definitely it. See my beautiful babies, y'all. My four babies. They're almost not babies anymore. I just cannot. My oldest is about to be 17. This one right here. Whew, I just can't. Y'all have kids. Cherish them because, you know, you never know or you never think about things until you are a parent. I remember when I was a kid and everybody used to say, oh my God, I remember you when you was this big and you looking at them like, mm, okay, now that I have my own kids, it's just, it's a, it's a total difference. Look at this, y'all. Look at this. You see, you see like, yep, I, this is my movie watcher, TV show watcher. Ha <laughs> ha This is my favorite 
movie, guys. Oh my god. This is like my top, my top five. Okay. This is absolutely my favorite movie. <laughs> I cannot. All right. I'm gonna stop. Okay. But yes. So definitely movies on the 12.9 inch and not so much on this little screen. But anywho. But you know, I don't know what else I could possibly say other than thank you guys for watching this video if you have any questions hit me in them comments below i thank you guys for taking the time to watch the video um again i am not no tech channel so i'm just giving you my recommendations um according to how i like them and you know different things like that and if you want to go buy you an ipad mini go buy you an ipad mini if it's your first ipad and that's what you want to do that's what you want to do but i just wanted to you know kind of show you guys a little bit of difference between the two and why i decided to get the ipad mini which is so cute and so little but anyways, I thank you guys for taking the time to watch this video. You want to see more? Make sure you hit that subscribe button and give me a big thumbs up. Thank y'all. Have a blessed week.